hello everyone welcome back to the power bi tutorials in this video we are going to learn about a concept or a feature known as the conditional columns in power bi so what is conditional column it is a type of a column that is generated on the basis of condition if you are familiar with the concept of programming then you must have heard of the conditional statements like if else statements so the conditional column works in the similar way if you are an excel user then you must have heard of the conditional formatting or the if else statements in microsoft excel so the concept is kind of similar if you are a total newbie then don't worry i will explain the conditional columns from scratch in this video so basically let us take a look at our sample data uh, this is the points table named sheet and the name of the table is also points table we have the names of the different employees over here and how many points they have scored is given so the criteria of the company is that uh, over the month it gives some points to the employees and on the basis of the points it gives them remarks on the basis of these remarks they are credited their bonus or whatever it is so if we take a look at the points then there are these negative points possible positive values are also possible and some of them have even scored a zero so the criteria of the company is that if the employee or the person has a scored a negative point then the remark would be like bad work or below average if they have scored a zero then they would be given a remark of average but if they are given a positive score then there uh, would be like good work or above average or excellent work whatever it is so um, basically these are the values or uh, this is the condition on which these things work and this is exactly what we are going to see that how can we write a new column or create a new column called remarks on the basis of these values okay so this is our one data the second data is from this date table uh, we have got the different kinds of dates over here so what will this dates do it would just um, provide us with a criteria like we can uh, take 4th october 2017 as a criteria and whatever dates are appearing before it we can just compare them and we could write like uh, okay these dates are before uh, our specified criteria and if the dates are after this we can give a simple message that they are after the specified criteria so basically this is the kind of the uh, thing that we are going to do uh, this is um, usually done with like uh, date of joining or date of selling or whatever it is in the databases so we have taken a simple example just to explain that what or how it works with this date data so this is the two operations that we are going to do and these operations are possible through conditional columns in power bi so let's just take a look at it here we have opened up our power bi but before that we need to close our excel sheets in the background then we can just extract this excel data which is this conditional column workbook we can click on open and wait for a few seconds till that um, sheet is loaded into our power bi so once it is loaded we need to just select the tables which we need to like use in our power bi so yeah uh, we have these tables like the points table for the points and the date table for the date data so we can just check them both and click on transform data so why we have clicked on transform data because we want like to open these tables in power query editor before loading them into the power bi desktop app now once they have been opened okay the points table and the date table have been opened so we would first work upon the points table and we know the condition the positive value the negative value and the zero value okay so we can just go to this add columns option and inside this add column there is this option of conditional column okay we can simply click on it and after it you will see that a dialog box will open up like this okay the first thing it asks us is the new column name that whatever new column you are going to add what is going to be its name so i'm just going to uh, change its name to like remarks okay because i'm trying to give remarks to the employees now there is this if condition that is being applied 
so if the column name so we are going to just check upon the column name called points scored so let us just select this points scored column from the drop down the operator is equals we do not want equal we first want to check for the negative value so if um, the column name is less than zero so if any value is less than zero that means that particular value is a negative value right so we are putting this condition if points of code is less than zero then what output do we want we want um, output in a value in a kind of a value for this column called the remarks column that is below average below average right average then if I want to add another clause, which I want to, because I want to check for the positive values as well. This is also the negative values. I want to check for the positive values too. So I can simply click on this add clause option. So it would uh, write like else if, which means that if this condition is true, that is if the value is negative, then we would get below average. Otherwise, if this value is not negative, then you need to provide another condition. That is if the points is code is greater than zero. Uh, which means that greater than zero means a positive value so what we can do is a uh, good work so that's the remark good work okay and if uh, both these conditions are not satisfied which means if neither the value is negative neither the value is positive which means the value is zero so in this case what remark do we want we want average to be the remark and we can just click on OK and wait for a few seconds. OK, so if you just uh, take a look at the results. So this the column name is remarks. Absolutely correct. Minus 18 below average 33. That's a positive value. Good work below average zero average and so on. You can just check all the records if you want. So uh, this is the correct output that we have got. This is exactly the output that we expected. And that's exactly that what we have got. So this is a simple example of how you can work uh, with the conditional columns in Power BI. Let us take a look at another example. Now we have a date table or the date data. So we have taken this 4th October 2017 as a criteria. We are going to mark all the days uh, or all the dates before it and we are going to check all the dates after it. So let's see. Uh, why we have chosen this date data as an example because this works uh, in kind of a different way we have to apply some more things some more concepts so that's why let's see so let's just go to conditional column in the add column and let us just provide a custom column name so that is again going to be like a remark okay so if you need to select the column name which is only one the date column the operator is equals so since the value is a date column so we do not need to check uh, or select like is greater than or is less than we have is before and is after so if it is before what value do we have uh, we can select uh, we can either enter a value or select a value from the column so we do not want to select a value we can just simply enter a value or we have got this calendar option from where we can just um, choose a value because it's a date so we can just choose a value from the calendar itself. So what we are going to do is we are going to hover over to the year 2017. Okay, so that's 2017 and October. We want it 4th October 2017. So yeah, that's the data. If the date is before this, so what we can do is um, like before mm, criteria. That's a simple message that we want to give otherwise so we are just focusing on one condition only that if it is before it so we want before criteria otherwise if it is not before it what we can do is we can just go with after criteria in the previous video we had two conditions that whether it was a positive value whether it was a negative value or whether it was a zero value okay but here we have only one condition that if it is before or if it is after so after criteria and before criteria you can click on ok and see that 2019 is after criteria 2018 is after criteria this is also taken after criteria why because we clicked on is before so that's why uh, this exact date is also taken as after criteria okay 
then 2019 after criteria 2017 before criteria 2002 before criteria after after before absolutely correct all the results are absolutely correct and that's how uh, you can just work with the conditional columns with the help of conditions the different conditions in power bi also uh, this is just an example we will see some more examples of conditional columns in the next video and this is all for this video thanks for watching